What's up guys, Big Man here, coming at you with another video. But before we get started gamers, don't forget to smash that like button, hit subscribe, enable notifications, all that good stuff. And I want to give a shout out to all my subscribers, new and old. You guys rock and don't you ever forget that. Now with all that said guys, let's start the video. Have you ever been watching a YouTube video about a game you like or are thinking about buying for yourself and think that's a cool game? Let's see what these other guys think about it. You scroll down to the comment section. You read a few comments. Some like the game, some don't. You keep reading and then there's always that one douchebag. This game is better on my PC, my FPS, imagine playing on console, my PC gaming, you are all just a console present, just buy a $5,000 PC. Even though you see what PC fanboys play, CSGO left for that F. Fortnite, a load of trash that looks like a cheap indie game with graphics like a remaster of a PS2 game and that weird soul popper effect like your characters down the whole case of monster energy drink and are sliding around on ice. The sort of thing you buy for 5 bucks on PSM 10 years ago. Well, I am going to tell you why PC Master Race fanboys are wrong, and in fact, 30 FPS is objectively better than 60 or even 120. You see, even though the PS5 is capable of these frame rates, 9 out of 10 developers will in fact choose 30 over the other options, because it gives the game a more high-end look, a more professional product, with high production values that you'd expect from a big studio, a more cinematic look, not like a weird cheap indie game made for a mobile phone. Take The Hobbit in HFR for example. They released a version with a higher frame rate, doubled in fact, from the regular 24 FPS for movies to 48, and it looked like you were watching a damn soap opera or a sports game, not like a movie at all. Everyone hated it, and they stopped making movies like that, and the same goes for gaming too. But this is what PC fanboys just refuse to understand. They think just because PC gaming costs more, that automatically makes it superior. But it does not work like that. They all just started claiming that, and then other people were like, yeah, that sounds like it makes sense, I guess it must be true. And they spread it around and it becomes fact, at least in their mind, because that's what everyone else around them is saying. But you only have to see for yourself that in fact games PC gamers play look like a cheap 7th generation title. Why do PC fanboys always have to bring up PC gaming when it is totally unrelated and irrelevant to the conversation at hand? I'll tell you why. Because they have an inferiority complex. They know PS5 is better, but they see it flying high and have to shoot it down. A classic case of tall sunflower syndrome. That's why when people talk about the consoles being sold out due to high demand, PC fanboys always have to butt in. If you think that's bad, you should try getting a 3090. Bro, no one cares about that weird shit. They always have to try and copy us. No one cares about weird graphics cards. Stop copying us, because no one cares. Imagine playing on PC! PC 
fanboys don't even play games. All they do is boot up their PC, open the in-game store of some battle royale trash like Overwatch or PUBG, and buy thousands of dollars worth of loot boxes on their mom's credit card, a bunch of whales, every single one of them. PC fanboys buy the latest COD every year and think GTA 5 is called GTA Online. More PC gaming, more shark cards, more V-Bucks. PC fanboys want every future Fallout game to be like Fallout 76. They think every future Resident Evil game should be like the Umbrella Core. Such a bunch of noobs. So sad. So sad indeed. But what do you guys think? Sound off in the comments down below, and I will catch you all next time. Big Man Gamers, out!